Hey guys, welcome to my channel Tokyo Foodie. So, don't worry, you did not just click on an anime channel. It's February already, and there's something exciting happening this month Valentine's Day. In Japan, we celebrate Valentine's Day in a way that's a little different from the Western culture. On Valentine's Day, Girls give guys chocolate to show that the girl fancies the guy. It's like the one and only day when a notice me kind of senpai girl can show her affection towards a guy. The chocolate that you give can be store bought or handmade, but personally, I think that handmade chocolates are better because it shows that you've put in effort and time into making it. In this video today, I want to be showing you one of the most popular recipes that Japanese girls make on Valentine's Day chocolate truffles. But I'm making it even more Japanese y and more interesting. I've made some matcha truffles. This tastes just like the chocolatey bit of a matcha k i t k a t but it's even better because it's soft and gooey. I'm really excited to show you the recipe. Let's dive into it. You only need three ingredients for this recipe white chocolate, heavy cream, and matcha powder. You can find the quantities of each ingredient in the description box down below. Cut the large block of white chocolate into smaller pieces. Transfer the white chocolate into a large bowl. To a small pot, pour in the heavy cream. Heat this up on low heat until you start to see some bubbles forming around the edge. You don't want the heavy cream to be actually boiling. Pour the hot heavy cream into the white chocolate that you diced up earlier. Mix until you get that creamy texture. If the white chocolate doesn't melt completely, you can heat up the mixture in the microwave for 10 seconds and mix again. And continue microwaving until you get a completely melted mixture. Sift in the matcha powder. Mix until everything is combined. To a tray or any sort of container that you lined up with cling film or parchment paper, pour in the truffle mixture. I recommend parchment paper over cling film because cling film was pretty easy to break. Chill the mixture for more than three hours. You can start making little balls of truffles here, but I wanted to make similar sized truffles, so I decided to cut up the mixture first. The mixture was a little difficult to deal with, so I dusted it with some matcha powder. I wanted to shoot this video before the sun went down, so I could only chill the mixture for less than two hours. That's why the mixture looks quite soft here, but if you give it some more time, the mixture would be more firm and easier to deal with. Roll the mixture into small ball shapes and roll it in some extra matcha powder to give it that powdery and delicate look. I was able to make 15 truffles in total with this recipe. You only see 14 here because I already ate one. Because it's a gift for your senpai, you want to put these truffles in a cute box, right? Close up the box and ta da! The handmade chocolate truffles are ready! I hope the anime character had a happy ending. Around about the Valentine's Day is when shops start to sell these small boxes or like cute wrapping papers or you know, wrapping bags for you to put your chocolates that you made inside. Can you believe that this is only 100 yen? You know what? It's almost like 10 pm at night. I just finished work and 
I know I shouldn't be eating these at night because matcha has a lot of caffeine, but who cares? Oh yes, look at that! As always, many thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it the thumbs up because it really really supports my channel and also subscribe to see more future videos about Japanese foods and culture. Bye! Do I have matcha on my teeth? Okay. On Valentine's Day, girls give guys chocolate to show... This taste... This tastes just... This... I can't say it. This tastes... This tastes... okay. <laughs>